Hey everyone. Dark Visions is upon us once more. And yes, you're not listening to any background music because the Chill Hop soundtrack is in the background and I don't want to get a copyright strike on this video. So I muted the sound uh, for at least until we are in the pulling part because I'm going to start off with some pulls. Um, now, I guess a lot of, or I know a lot of people have been wondering whether I'm going to pull for Cacteria. The answer is nope, I will not. Um, she's just not worth it to me. Um, you will hear about this more about this uh, later in the review, or tomorrow in the unit review. But as a veteran player, if you have Savior of Souls Lightning, or if you have Vindera, if you have Shuyu or Ibarra, there is no need for Cacteria. Very so sad about that, but it is what it is. All right, so let me turn on the sound since we are in this part of the game again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's um, do the free weekly pull for FMA. See what we get. I got a new vision last week. I, I believe it was snow, right? I, I think it was snow I got last week, so yeah. That was pretty good. Let's see if we can get another new vision unit. Nope, not today. At least I should be able to EX plus two Bradley now. So that's something. Yeah. The use, the use. Okay, we also got one useless dark vision ticket, which usually never gets me anything good, but let's see the result. It's another blue, of course. I almost got spooked by the rainbow, but it was just the 10% Moogle. All right, I will also use a few tickets. I saved them up for you guys, basically. I. If it weren't for you guys, I would spend them right away, but I knew beforehand that I'd do this small video before Dark Vision, so let's uh, just throw them right away. The Lita and Eileen. None of them are good. I need three more Eileens to get her a second copy of her STMR. Because I'm saving up for a second one. Scanning goggles is really good. I'd like to have a second copy of it sometime down the line. Rather than keeping... <laughs> Keep increasing her EX level. Ooh, those are all bad pulls today. Eh, it's fine. I don't really mind, to be honest. I'm not pulling for Kikiri anyway. So the next band I'm gonna pull on is actually Trials of Mana, which may or may not happen in end of June, so... so oh, we got a Neo. Hello there. So who do we get? It's another lock. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Wrong breaker. Could have been Cacteria, but oh well. Uh, this should be my fourth copy of Lawrence, if I'm not entirely mistaken. So that's cool. I got Galoof. Okay. Celes. Oh yeah, Celes. She's good. I mean, the new vision version of Celis is good, so can't wait for her. Oh yeah, I got three more of the blue ones, so let's go. I got a new, it's a free red pearl, so not gonna complain about that. Oh, rainbow. Eh, I'm really drinking Dark Fina. Okay. Oops. Uh, there's nothing else I need to pull on, right? Let's check real quick. Nope. Nothing else. Okay. Anything good in here? Uh, nope. Right. See you in a second for Dark Visions. Alright, so day one, Dark Visions. I don't know which number it is, you'll see it in the title. 
of this video. The first boss was starting with the magical domain of ice and wind. It's a reaper slash undead. And yeah, this is the team. I substituted, as you can see, um, Shadow for uh, Elena. He's a little bit easier to handle, to be honest. Yeah, nothing else really matters. So Zon, the usual. Lightning is just here to break the boss, to be honest. Baritz's job is going to be um, just pretty much LBing in his Brave Shift to add Wind Element to the team. That's pretty much it. And Lumina is going to just do the usual. And Luna Freya, of course, in a Brave Shift is going to cap the fight. Uh, base form. Dragon's Brush, Luminous Gloves, Advanced Weaponry, Call of the Wild, the usual, so we can fill her LB on turn 1. Alrighty, let's do this. Yeah, let me do it. Come on, I don't want to wait. This is all too easy anyway. By the way, if you don't have Luna Freya, you can of obviously use Terra 2. So Lumina is going to start off how long before you wake up? Don't you think I'm cruel? Ooh, Luna Freya is missing a little bit. But this should be fine. Disaster. And let's just use the Faith Girl. Hoping to get a few crystals. Alright, now we go. So when Freya can limit burst now. Warrior of Light Bards is also brave shifting. Breeze Breath for the Imbue. Assassin Shadow is going to brave shift. And we'll do the usual AR double SR. So Shadow Step Shuriken, Mighty Shuriken and Diamond Shuriken. Mastermind Zon is going to uh, Obscure Solitude and Lethal Virus. Alright, so let's chain, start Luna Freya. There we go. Oh, Luna Freya did not cap on her own. Wow. Well, we are not imperiling the boss, so that is to be expected somehow, some some way. But yeah, we only need 2.14 billion, so I'm fine with that. All right, so next boss, uh, I had to make a, an adjustment because Luna Freya, without an imperil, does not cap this fight. So I gave the chainers now to wind weapons, as you can see. Uh, I'm using Shuyu for a 120 imperil to water as well. So all she'll be doing is Lotus Retribution. We'll have uh, the rest do the same. Okay, so let's uh, cap this one this time around. Oh no. No, it's fine, it's fine. So, Lumina repeats. Shuyu barely survives this, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So, Shuyu. Um, it's going to Rippling, Rippling to LB fill. Or actually, one Rippling is enough. Um, yeah, Blossoming and Lotus. Okay. Lightning is going to triple, Disaster double tornado. Luna Freya is why so it'll be not filled. Well, it is now. Anyway, so we can just repeat the main DPS. Let's check real quick. Wind resistance down, water resistance down. All good. So, let's do the damage. Mm. 
Okay, so 130 imperils actually matter at the end of the day. That was the perfect 9.99 etc. billion. All right. There we go. By the way, best thing about this update, well, they didn't fix that, but... Oh, I missed it, didn't I? I'll show you in a second. So let's move on to the physical domain of fire and darkness. We are facing a plant boss. So since this is pretty easy for me, uh, I picked out a fire team. So let's move on to the fire slot. Yeah, this is the correct team. Okay, so we're gonna use the last gen ODK team, but it's not using last gen anymore. And instead it's using our boy is a Dane. Um, same thing over here with Assassin Shadow and Mastermind Zone, just melee weapons, non-elemental. Uh, Vaughn doesn't have any gear, he doesn't need any. The Elric brothers will imbue fire. Yep, they will imbue fire. Uh, Adele is just going to imbue, uh, not imbue, but fill LB gauge for the Dane who starts off right at the, in his brave shift where he is geared towards full damage. He's got 6.4k attack power and funnily enough he's super easy to gear for plants. So yeah, with Reap of the Dust Storm he already has all, all of it capped so I gave him a few Esper parameters. Alright, let's go, let's do it. Should be a little bit easier than the magic stage where I uh, kind of forgot about the Imperil. <laughs> we got the Imperil now. So before we do anything, let's have Vaughn break the boss, etc, etc, etc. Hoping to not kill the boss in the process. We didn't. Very good. Okay, and we are going to... Oh, the... This is in his brave shift. So let's do the fire equivalent. All right, everyone's imbued with fire. Let's have Xon and Shadow repeat. And Madame Adele is going to... I could have used just Adele, she has dark element, right? But it's only to one or is it to all? No, it's to all allies. Ah, okay. You learn things every day. And Zidane is just going to LB cap this one. So let's go. Oh boy. I forgot we are facing a very easy to kill boss. 11 billion didn't even matter. <laughs> um, well, I guess Zidane is a little bit strong, isn't he? So where is this damage score over here? I'm so confused. But anyway, oh, Antonola, does she have all her... Vines too. Do I need to kill the vines as well? That'd be bad. Let's hope not. So we're going to just repeat. Please don't have your vines. Oh, she does. She does. Well, I guess. So let's do the imbue first, uh, actually, this time around. Let's break. Let's hope we don't kill the boss. Nope. Why did not? Oh, oh. Let's see about that now. All right, let's see if we uh, actually <laughs> kill all the vines as well. bosses oh, okay okay so that wasn't hard at all apparently I was worried for nothing okay. 
Well, that settles this one. But I'm still wondering why we didn't, why I can't see my damage score, or not the damage score, but the damage I dealt. That should be up any. Uh, oh well, it's Gumi. I shouldn't be wondering. Right, so now let's talk about an alternative team to this. So if you don't have the Dane, obviously you can use units such as Last Gen. You can use Tifa. You can use. Rain and Fina, for example. The Elric brothers also work, obviously. So there's a lot of options you can go through if you don't have Zidane. I was just going to be lazy modding this, so that is why I used Zidane. All right, that's pretty much for day one of Dark Visions. It's still pretty easy. Hope you enjoyed this nonetheless, and we'll see each other on Saturday for day two. Take care. Bye-bye.